Hi, my name is Michael Relth, and this is a behind the scenes of my Procreate commission. So let's get into it. It started off with a concept painting. Procreate commissioned me to make an animated loop. They wanted uh, me to give them some, some design ideas. So this was one of a few design ideas and this uh, ended up being the one that they chose. And I really wanted to get this serene feeling of walking through a forest, of being out in nature uh, with these two characters, with this girl and her dog. And um, you can see uh, that at this point, we start going through a lot of color revisions. And uh, I guess that the original concept was just a little bit too monochrome, a little bit too green overall. So Procreate asked me to infuse a little more color into the composition. And I got to try out a bunch of different, um, a bunch of different options for different colors. And ultimately, uh, I landed on this, which is the, the final design for the painting. So once the concept was figured out, uh, I used a line work based on my design to start laying in the movement of everything. Um, I didn't have the background figured out 100% yet, but I had a vanishing point and where I wanted everything to basically be. And based on that, I started animating my characters. And then I did try to make the background by hand, but it ended up being a little bit too tedious, so I used uh, my 3D knowledge and I built something in Maya, um, something that served as a very simple guide to, to draw over later. And uh, from Maya, I generated a line pass. I drew over for some shadows and lights and light beams, and then ultimately colored it in After Effects brought it into Procreate and painted over every frame, which was an exercise in patience. But the end result turned out pretty cool, so um, I'm glad that I did it. I don't know that I'd, that I'd do it again, just because uh, it was a lot of painting every single frame of the background, but I really love the effect that, uh, that I ended up with. I think it was really cool. And uh, when that was done, it looked like this. And the next step was to paint all of the characters. And you can see both of them being painted at the same time. But what I actually did is I had each character in a separate file, and I used the concept art to sample colors. For the dog specifically, I had to make a gradation so that as the dog moved backwards in space, um, he got a little bit lighter into that sort of yellowy atmosphere. So based on the concept painting and then my own idea of what the atmosphere looks like, I sampled my colors that way and then I painted uh, each frame for the girl and for the dog. And this is the last step. I had to integrate the dog and the girl with the environment, so I painted things like the leaves uh, rustling, the flower bending over when the dog sticks his face in the bush, and then shadows for both the girl and the dog. You can see at some point that I decided to move the girl off her drawing a little bit. She was just a little bit too close to those trees on the left. so just made a quick adjustment to all the painted layers and it seemed to work a lot better. And here you can see I'm painting the shadow frame by frame for the dog. There's a cast shadow based on a light source that's to the right and then a contact shadow that is representing, uh, I guess like maybe an occlusion or a skylight or something like that. And then the last steps is just to give the dog a little bit of rim light. And then uh, with all these passes together, it looks like this. And this is the end result. Um, yeah, there it is. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this little behind the scenes. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>